guy named Marco. He's a great painter. It's Marco. He loves to paint. That's how he rolls. Meet his friends. Pookaberry, the alien baby. They know. Together, they are. Marco. Speak the truth, yo. Hey, I'm Dizzy Dog. Marco's going down to Teddy Ride, Colorado to be the official poacher artist for their 34th Annual Jazz Fest. But that's only if he can sell enough art out of his art mobile on these dog-eat-dog -dog New York City streets to pay for his plane fare. If he can't, it's gonna be a long ride to Teddy Ride. Things, pay for plane tickets. Shoo! We're gonna fly down to Telluride, Colorado. Whoa!
coming on, you know, I'm feeling the vibes. Mind-boggling. Incredible. Gnarly. It is gorgeous. Beautiful. Steep. Fun. It's beautiful. Ridiculously permissive. Um, um. festive celebration at the local Chinese restaurant. Rumor has it he disappeared into the Colorado Rockies with a suitcases of beers. So I followed his trail as far as the Silvermine, where I found a lot of empty beer cans and a note which read, While every cloud has a silver lining, I was out painting when I should have been mining. Thanks for, um, thanks for having us on. Uh, uh, I brought, um, my, my bodyguard, he comes with me all the time. How, uh, oh, dance? Right, no, you, yeah. You, no, that's great, that's great. Listen, um, you, let's Excuse just get me, things sir. started. Excuse you know, me. we need to, What's like, going just on? You're going on here. Your man, what's up? It's up to you, sir. It's, it's your game. He's your interviewing game. the great yeah, chef. It's, it's your game. There's You're an the interview going on. We'll There's a mistake here, sir. Please go sit to the side. Just, just, just tell me about Chopped a little bit. Tell me about the show, Chopped. Sir, wait. Oh, wait. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's going on? What? I'm going to do an interview over here, okay? So just... He's... Yeah? He's our own. Who? Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry, man. I apologize. Aron, how are you, man? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Good to meet you, man. I was just thinking out of all the cuisines that you like, that are out there, and there's, there's a bunch, you know? Why Italian? Are you sure you're in the right place, man? This is Mexican. Do I look Italian to you, Marco? This is Mexican. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about this. I'm, I apologize. Yeah, you. Okay. Come over here for a second. You just hold, yeah. Would you just hold my phone? It's a, it's a time, sir. Guys, we're the filming. Oh. Sorry about that. No, I just did. Uh, it's a producer thing, you know. Yeah. I want you to accept this uh, pinata as a token of my apology. Oh, um, thank you very much. You know, yeah. I, what can I say? I mean, anything, really. But anyway, anyway. Uh, as everyone knows, um, Mexican food <laughs> is at the heart of uh, your cuisine. It's part of your soul. Um, do you ever one day hope to be like uh, the head chef uh, in, in a of a restaurant like of this, of this caliber. You, you aspire to that. Yeah. Marco, I'm not only the head chef, I own this place. So, yeah. You do have a lot, a lot of tequila here behind the bar, I've noticed. Yeah. Um, and that's that's Mexican thing, right? It's yeah, it's Mexican. Mexican. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So, we don't have to do it now, but we can. Oh, yeah, yeah it's... Do you want me to open it? No, no. You can check it. Check it first after he opens it, make sure there's no poison. Just open it up. Take your gloves off, take your gloves off. Bobby Trump, Bobby Trump. Um, so let me ask you a question. Which which Aztec gods out of out of the Aztec gods really influenced you? Quetzalcoatl was one of the more spiritual deities who sort of dealt with the afterlife and death and strength and the virility of the Aztecs. And that's really what I'm fond of. Uh, and that stuff, if you drink enough of it, you'll come closer to the I will gods. see I will see Quetzalcoatl? Yeah. Quetzalcoatl? I dig it? Yeah, something like that. Oh, 
Yeah, this is really... It doesn't taste like potatoes at all. <laughs> I could have got you a glass. Oh, oh, sorry about that. It's a problem. Get some, get some glassware and stuff. Wow, start wax rhapsodic to me about chicken. Because I know it's so many... So many chicken is... It plays such a big part in the menu. You do so many things with it. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about chicken. Chicken, the ultimate canvas. It can take on flavor so well. It can be grilled. It can be roasted. Mixed into a salad. It's just about anything you want it to be. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't received one. Oh, wait, 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 Okay, who ordered the pizza? Oh, well, that's us. That's us. We ordered oh, the pizza. We okay. ordered the pizza. Yeah. We ordered. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me see. All right. Hold on. Cool. Great. Pizza came finally. Thank God. So hungry. Oh. Hey, what's oh, going on here? This? Hey, look, man. What are you doing, man? What the heck's going on here? I can't. Explain. What, you call this a pizza? Look, explain man, this. This is a high-end restaurant, I'll man. We wanted to I'll have a little snack. I'll explain it, all right? Yeah. Well, that's the special. All right, what's so special about three and a half slices with a, with a shotgun shot right going through the middle of one? What's special? Here, take this pizza back to the pizza place. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them already. Like, did you want a pizza? And I was like... Because I was literally just running over to your place. Um, I actually, you know, in my spare time, which with, I don't have much of it, like, you know, busy man like you, I launched my brand new line of octopus flavored candy corn. So, nice. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. I was bringing it up to a couple of gourmet stores they want to carry it. Whatever, I'm not dropping names, you know. I mean, just like some of the gourmet food stores. That's good. The squid flavor is kind of interesting, right? It's definitely you. It grows on your head. <laughs> Gotta keep it moving. Yeah. I also did this piece that I told you I was gonna do. It's small, you know. Um, oh, that's nice. But, you know, it's kind of like um, a candy bar piece. It has um, some, you know, elements in it, which I think you'll appreciate. But look, if this is too, um, too big for you, I got a tiny little piece. It's not much, it's just a tiny thing. Okay. You know, it's this way you can put it on your, on your, uh... Look at that! Uh, right by the side of your fan, it's small, it looks like a maroon. I think it's a vertical piece. Oh, man! Look at that! You know, that is heavy duty, bro! Yeah, so if you don't, you don't have, you know, a lot of wall space, this is perfect. Marco, this is unreal, man. You were able to hit upon all the historic and cultural elements in Mexico. The art, the culture, the history. And then you have sort of me in the middle there. Uh, looks sacrificing an avocado. I think that's how they make guacamole. Isn't that the first guacamole was made that way? Um, oh man, look at the tequila, look at all of it. Marco's one of a kind hand painted bottle of Avion Reposado tequila will also be auctioned off at the event. A tequila so good it could only be made from the fermented distilled juice of the rare and elusive Flying Agave. This is stunning, bro. But man, I'm just, I'm blown away. I don't know what to tell you, man. You really hit it on the head with that. I really hope it was worth it. I mean, I, and, uh, I tried to put all these different elements in there. I mean, it's like making a meal, right? Of course. You know, you need to get all the uh, elements in. Yeah. Well, I just love it. All right. I, you know what? The thing I want to see there, I want to see this 
find a home, perhaps in a charitable outlet. Let's see. That's a great idea. So let's think about that. You and I will That's get with that. That's a great idea. Yes, no problem. Treat, okay? I'll, I'll slip this through your, your mail slot or something. Totally, no joke. Yeah. I'll catch you in that again. Without a doubt. So we'll work together on this. All right, All right. thanks a lot, Marco. Your old right sentence is so cool. I could be a celebrity chef, too. I already have her signature dish. How'd you know? I got you figured. But you can't kiss his on the next show. Justin Bieber's? Boom, oh, baby. Snoop Doggy Dog? Possibly. Uh, Scarlett Johansson? Could be. You never know who's gonna show up on. Marco! Speak the truth, yo.